Most people buy groceries with cash, a debit card, or even your phone. But what if you could buy some tasty avocados by just waving your hand? Though things like handshakes and high fives have gone extinct, Amazon is finding new ways for your hands to still be useful. If you didn't know, Amazon is much bigger than the online shopping platform that you're used to. In fact, Amazon is really a technology company, and you should check out my friend and video collaborator, The Daring Monkey, right after this video, because he does a great job of explaining exactly what I mean. Amazon is getting into the grocery game, or should I say, already has. Amazon delivers groceries to your door through Amazon Fresh and owns Whole Foods, but they also own their own grocery stores called Amazon Go Grocery. Now these stores are filled with a lot of technology. For example, there's the Amazon Just Walk Out tech, which is just like it sounds, you just walk out. In other words, there are no cashiers in these stores. You walk in, you grab whatever you want, and you walk out. Wait, you mean I can buy as many donuts as I want and not feel judged by the cashier? Uh, yeah, but it's not like it's free or anything. The way it works is you scan the app on your phone for you to enter the store. Once you do, you're free to peruse the aisles, looking for whatever groceries or powdered donuts you want, and the cameras track you to see what you grab. And even if you grab something off the shelf and then decide later you want to put it back, the tech in the camera systems knows this and they keep track of everything you've purchased. Once you're ready to leave, you just walk out. The system will automatically charge you for what you took, preventing you from having to wait in line behind Great Value Morpheus because he still writes checks. Now this sounds pretty easy and some people may not mind this kind of shopping experience. It's not like you aren't being watched while you shop now anyways. But maybe there's a way to make this even more seamless. What if we don't need to use our phones at all? Maybe we could just use our hands instead. Nine out of 10 times, you're watching this video on your phone and most modern smartphones today use face scans or fingerprint scans for security measures. These seem normal now, but it wasn't that long ago this stuff was only in spy movies. But the way these work in concept is actually quite simple. Take for instance the fingerprint scanner on your phone. There are actually three different types of fingerprint scanners out there, but the one you're probably most familiar with is a capacitive fingerprint scanner. These are usually found on the back or side of a smartphone and use capacitors to detect the tiny ridges in your finger. Here's a handy example, no pun intended. Let's act like each one of these squares is a tiny capacitor on your phone. Now, a capacitor is like a battery and is built to hold electricity when left alone. But when it touches something, like your finger, the amount of electricity it has is reduced. So all these blue squares are fully charged capacitors in your phone. But when the ridges in your finger touch the scanner, some of those capacitors lose their stored electricity and those squares will flip over as red. As you can see, that leads to a particular pattern. And that pattern is recognized by your phone and thus unlocks. Pretty simple, right? So why can't we take this same concept and do the same thing at stores so you don't even have to pull out your wallet? Okay, y'all are just being lazy now. Yes, yes we are, but this is exactly what Amazon aims to do with their Amazon One hand scanners. Much like a fingerprint, your handprint is also unique, but plot twist, it's not actually your handprint that's used in a hand scan. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. A hand scanner is different from a fingerprint scanner in your phone. These actually work by shining light at your hand so a camera can see it. This light is actually infrared light and it's just below the visible light on the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, give me the hooked on phonics version. Okay. It's light that you can't see, but you usually sense it as heat. You've probably seen one of those videos with the glowing people in it, that's infrared light. Now this light can also pass through your hand and will illuminate the vein pattern of the circulatory system in your palm. Just like fingerprints, your veins in your hand are unique to you. It's kind of like how you can see the blood in your fingers when you shine a bright light through them, only in far greater detail. Kind of like an x-ray, but not as intense or harmful. Since your vein pattern is unique, this can be tied to your personal accounts, like let's say your Amazon account. This allows for you to pay for your groceries without needing to swipe your card, and Amazon is already using these hand scanners at their own grocery store. There's also a chance these could show up at a Whole Foods or other stores in the future. In fact, if you want to know more about the future of this kind of tech, check out The Daring Monkey, as he has a video up right now on his channel talking about the security of these hand scanners and where we might see them in the future. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. I'll see you in my next one, where I'll talk about Elon Musk and what he has to do with carbon dioxide. I'm Lumi, and remember, keep thinking.